So I keep getting this age old question. It's like an urban myth that the lighter rods are the better rods. And I don't really think that's completely true. And we're gonna break this down a little bit and see exactly what we can come to some conclusion. Is it true? Is a lighter rod a better rod? This is rod building. Let's have a look. I'm Gary Benny, English rod builder living in Sweden. I've been building rods for many years and now you're gonna join me in my workshop going through tips, tricks, techniques, tools of the trade, all the things you want to know when you're coming to build a rod. We're gonna drink a lot of tea, so join me on the ride. Let's have some fun. This is rod building, let's do this. So this myth, you've all heard it, everybody says lighter rods are better rods and we need to break it down and work out if that's really the truth or not today. I've chucked a load of rods on the desk here and uh, you can see different actions, powers, lengths, they're all weighing differently. Every single one is a really good rod. Now, that isn't a really good direct comparison. We cannot compare these to each other. We've got rods that are eight foot six, nine foot, seven foot. Every single rod is slightly different. They've got different guides on, they've got different seats on, and this is a heavy duty saltwater rod like this one. Uh, it's weighing a lot more than this rod here, then it's a lot lighter. So it comes down, of course, to that age old, what is its purpose? If it's gonna be designed for more saltwater fishing, it's gonna have more carbon fiber, it's gonna be designed with bigger guides, maybe it's designed to have bigger line use, maybe bigger baits. So that's gonna dictate what the total weight of the rod is. So just because a saltwater rod is heavier than a freshwater rod, it doesn't mean the freshwater rod is any better. Because if you took that freshwater rod out and fished with it in saltwater, I don't think it's gonna last as long as what the saltwater one could. So that's a general rule of thumb before we start getting any deeper. Then we're gonna look a bit further into the components. So components are the main weight on a rod. And if your rod has got bigger guides on it, that's going to be a larger amount of material and that's going to weigh more. Stainless steel weighs more than titanium, so what it's actually made out of. Ceramic is gonna weigh more than non-ceramic, but also there's thinner ceramics and heavier ceramics. So all of them are good and just because they're lighter doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be better because sometimes you have to lose durability and strength in to accordance to lose weight. And that not, might not be the best when it comes to actually getting the right rod for you. So sometimes you need to think, is the weight I'm saving actually gonna make it the rod better or worse? And sometimes it can go the opposite way, where by saving weight, you're actually gonna make the rod weaker. Then we come down to the blank. And this is the one that everyone really is into when they talk about the weight of the rod. And I agree, no one wants a really heavy blank because it's not fun to fish with a rod that weighs a ton and your arms hurting all day. But generally speaking, you're using carbon fiber and carbon fiber doesn't weigh a lot. What it does come down to though is the action and power of the blank and what it's designed to do. If you're gonna be flipping bass into the boat all day long, you don't want a rod that's gonna be made of super high modular stiff carbon fiber because the chances are it's going to break, it's gonna snap because you're doing things with that rod you really shouldn't be doing. If you're a beginner maybe and you're high sticking a rod not quite sure how to fight a fish properly, if you get the angle of the rod incorrectly as the fish drills down deep, that rod is going to snap no matter how good it is. And so I think it comes down to the fact that you need to consider what the purpose of the rod is and what you wanna do. Yes, there is blanks that weigh less than others, but they have to sacrifice something and it's in material. The material has to be thinner and therefore it's gonna weigh less. Of course, you are gonna pay more for higher modulus carbons, but generally speaking, you have to go more careful. You buy a performance sports car, you don't pull a caravan with it. That's a reality. You need to think about what you're doing. And so is the rod that weighs more any worse than the rod that weighs less? I really don't think so. Of course, it comes down to personal preference and what you like and your fishing style. And that brings me on to a final point. Some people really like to have stiff, powerful rods because they're well built and they're powerful. They don't feel a rod weight as much as the other guy. Whereas another guy might be a little bit more differently built and is gonna feel that weight more and find it hard. Maybe not such good condition, bad back, 
that's gonna make a big difference on what really the rod is with weight. If it's good or bad, I don't think is a real good question. I think it just comes down to, you need to choose what you want to use. And then we've got the balance of the rod. And this is the absolute answer in question to what we're gonna to come to in a minute, in my opinion, for this urban myth. Is the rod really heavy if the balance is perfect? And the answer is no. I have fished with rods that weigh 150, 200 grams, and when you're fishing with them, they feel light as a feather, but I fish with rods that weigh 100 to 150 grams, and when you fish with them, they are super unbalanced and not fun to fish. The tip is floating in the air, or the tip is in the water, because it's just not a very well-balanced rod, because they haven't really thought through the fact that the weight isn't the end-all and be-all. Now, of course, remember what I'm not saying to you is we should all go out and buy the heaviest rod to fish with. You do want something that's enjoyable, but you do need to think twice before you go onto online to buy a new rod or you go to your rod builder and buy a rod and demand the lightest possible rod that you can buy. I don't think that's really the way to do it. Think about durability, think about your angling style and the purpose of the rod and what you're gonna be using it for. And if there's gonna be 10 grams in it here and there, half an ounce, does it really matter? I'm gonna leave that one up to you. So I'm not gonna answer the question. I'm gonna leave it up to you. The urban myth is still the urban myth. Are lighter rods better than heavier rods? My personal opinion, but that's gonna be up to you. Make sure to like our video and subscribe to our channel. If you've got any questions, the comment section below is for you. Ring the notification bell and you'll receive notifications of all new material from American Tackle. Thank you very much once again. That's been a wrap.